Fluidity Software is pleased to introduce its new graphing calculator. The graphing calculator is based on the technology in the award-winning Fluid Math program and lets you naturally enter math expressions with handwriting and easily create and investigate graphs. Let's look at a few examples. After loading the page, you get started by clicking on the Edit button. Here you can write your math expression. So I'm going to write y equals mx plus b. One of the nice things about writing is instead of searching for a button, you can just write the symbol you already know. Below the strokes you can see the recognition preview of what the system recognized. Here it's OK, but let's say I wanted to make a change or there was a problem. I might rewrite that area of the expression by scribbling first over the strokes I want to get rid of, and then rewriting them. Next I click Done, and I return to the graph and can see my expression being plotted. I can pan the view by just clicking on the graph and dragging. On an iPad with multi-touch, I can zoom in by placing two fingers on the surface and spreading them apart, or by pinching them closer together. This scales the graph. Notice in the top left, the free variables m and b are shown in blue. This means they're clickable. If I click on the m, I get a slider. If I click on the b, I get a slider for it. By default, sliders use discrete values. If I click on the D button, I can change them to be continuous. I'm going to clear the page by just reloading it. And let's look at a second example. I click Edit and write Y equals absolute value of X. Then I click Done. I'm going to click the plus button so I can add a second expression. Now I'll write Y equals X minus H plus K. Clicking on H and K I get sliders and I can look at the effects of changing those values. I'm going to add one more expression which is the coordinate pairs H comma K. Let's look at one final example. If I write y equals ax squared plus b, notice how it's easy to position the symbols in the right place. You just write them either above if you want a superscript or on the same line. Let's add another line to this, y equals x plus 3. Let's say we want to find out the intersection points. If you click on the asterisk, you get a settings menu which includes showing intersections, zeros, and min and max. I'm going to turn them all on and come back to the graph. Now I can see these key points. Pressing and holding on the graph for a moment will begin a trace. Wherever you move the cursor, you can see a coordinate pair that shows that location. If you move close to a plot, it will snap to the plot, and you'll see exact values for the samples. This concludes the video.